channel. In today's video, we are going to see about how we are going to create the YouTube logo. As we all know that this is Visual Studio Code and this is index.html where we are going to write our HTML code preceding which you have another folder over or another file over here which is style.css where we are going to write in our styling content. Now, let's start with the HTML. HTML it's so easy to get the HTML template. Now, this is our basic HTML template that we have in the Visual Studio Code. Here, I'm just going to have one division with class name as YouTube. Right. And here, I'm going to link the style sheet. So, we have a tag called as link tag, wherein for that link tag, you have two attributes. That is a real that is the relation between the style between the HTML and the CSS. That is, this is the style sheet. And then with that, you have H reference. That is, which, re which file are we referring to? We are referring to the CSS file. After this, we are just going to have the preview part, wherein we can see that are we writing the content properly. So you can see here you have document. Why do you have that? Done. It's done. Done. Then let us go to the style sheet. Here we do have only one class that is YouTube. So I'm just going to have that class here that is YouTube class. Inside this YouTube class, I'm just going to style it now. Height I want as 200 pixels. Then width of that division should be about 250 pixels. Okay, 250 pixels and background color so usually the youtube logo that we see that will be red in color so let's just give a red and check okay so this is not exactly that red sometimes it will have it will be having the shade from downwards it will be red in color that is there will be certain linear gradient type so for that what i'm going to do is i'll just be using a webkit linear gradient for that, I'll just have to give background. Here you have WebKit Linear Gradient. And inside this, I'll be using at the bottom, at the bottom, I want 6D0202. So this is maroon. And that I want up till 22% and comma. Then I want the red color. So that is also not exact red. That will be crimson red. So it is C91234. Now we can see that there is a certain gradient C type here. And this gradient C type that is there, I want it up to 61%. So you can see 61% till 61% there is red. And after that, there is the gradient C of maroon color. So this is how you're going to set the gradient C. Okay. It's done. So after that, we have to use, we have to just curve them. That is border radius. I'll be giving 50%. That is oval now. Slash, slash 30 pixels. Now you can see that the borders are slightly curved. That let me add some box shadowing to it. 0 pixels, 15 pixels. Okay, there's some dark shadowing. You can see this. We are going to make that light. No problem. 20 pixels. And then minus 5 pixels. Okay, now we can see that there is a slight shadowing. Now for the borders, I need to give certain color. Okay, you can see it is black. 6. Okay, so we did get some coloring here. After that, I'm just going to arrange it from the top. I want it up till 20 pixels and margin from the left side 20 pixels again. So let it go a little inside so that we can clearly see it after that. So you can see now this is having some sharp edges here, this side and this side. But whereas when we see our logo, that is YouTube logo. Okay, when you compare your YouTube logo with this logo, you can see that there is some smooth edges. But here you can see that there is some sharp edge here. So to 
to remove the sharp edge we are going to do the next step so here you have dot youtube and for this i'll be using one pseudo element that is before so when you are going to use this before content and then position should be absolute that is wherever i'm going to tell it to be fixed it should be in that particular place and background i just want it to inherit the same background which this has this youtube class has so the background is inherited now and then height of that should be about 155 pixels and then width should be about Whatever width I have given here that is a 255, I just want it to be 280. Let's check it out with 280 pixels. And then at the top, you can see that you can see a square here. Now, from the top, I want it at 30 pixels. So that it is in the middle now. Okay, at the left, I want. And margin left should be minus 20 pixels. Okay. So it has come here. Now what I'm just going to do is I'll just extend this as well here because I just wanted a bit more 90. All right. Now we have same from same. It is overflowing from both the edges. Now let me make the border. Border radius 30 pixels slash 50 percent. Now we can see that it is having some smooth edges. How you can see it, I'll just show you by just removing this inherit and I'll make it as black. You can see. So this is how we have covered that. This is how we have created that YouTube content. Square. So I'll just make it again as inherit so that you can see it as one. Next, we want that triangle. YouTube. Now we'll just make the use of one more pseudo class that is after content for the same content as above. After that, I'll give the position. It should be absolute. That is wherever I want it to be fixed. It should be fixed to that. Then next you have border left. This should be of about 80 pixels solid. And I want it to be grayish or whitish you can say then next border towards the top 40 pixels solid and transparent now you can see you have a right angled triangle here which is above this red color next border bottom it should be again 40 pixels solid and transparent now you can see a triangle is visible for you guys after this i'll just make margin from the top it should be of about 55 pixels and from the margin left it should be at about 95 pixels so now you can see a youtube logo is being created by using the basic CSS here. So this is how your YouTube logo is going to be shown. Let us open it in our live server. So this is how you can get your YouTube logo. This is all for today's video. In the next video, we are going to see another logo by using HTML and CSS. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.